When Apple launched iOS 14 with widgets, it made the iPhone much more useful. Now in iOS and iPadOS 15, Apple's offering new widgets, one of which is the Contacts widget. The Contacts widget lets you bring your most important contacts front and center on your home screen. This makes it easy to call, message, look up important information about the most important people in your life. Hi, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. To add the contacts widget to your home screen, you'll want to find an empty area and then push and hold on your home screen until all your apps start to jiggle. Now come up to the left hand corner and tap on the plus sign and then scroll down until you see contacts. Tap on contacts to open. Like all widgets, you'll have three options to choose from. The first option you'll have is the small widget, which displays one contact. If you swipe to the left, you'll see the medium widget that displays four contacts. Swipe to the left again, and you'll see the large widget, which displays six contacts. I'm going to go ahead and choose the large widget and add it to my home screen. Once I've added it to my home screen, I'll need to tap on Done. Now that we have the contacts widget located on our home screen, you can change the order of the contacts or even change which contacts are displayed. To reorder your contacts, push and hold on the contact widget until the pop-up menu appears. Now choose edit widget and you'll see a list of the contacts that you have displayed in that widget. On the right hand side, the three lines, I like to call that the hamburger icon, push and hold, and then drag your contacts in the order with which you want to display them. If at some point you want to change um, one of the contacts that you have displayed, the procedure is the same. Push and hold on the contact widget until the pop-up window appears. Tap Edit Widget. And this time, instead of going over to the hamburger icon, just tap on the name of the contact that you'd like to switch out. And at this point, I'm going to come down to the very bottom and I'm going to choose Apple. And now you'll see that the Apple contact uh, is listed. And if I come back to the widget, you'll see that the Apple contact has replaced the previous contact. One of the most powerful features of the widget tap occurs when you tap into a contact. So I'm going to tap into a contact. And as you can see, I have the option to message, call, FaceTime, email. You'll also see their last messages to you, shared links, photos from the Messages app, and more. To return to the Contacts widget, just swipe up from the bottom and you're back to the Contacts widget. To move the Contacts widget on your home screen, just push and hold until the apps start to jiggle. And then once they do, you can just grab that widget and slide it to an empty space or underneath that particular widget. I can even slide it across several screens if I'd like and place it on an empty screen. Once you find the placement, let go of the widget and tap on Done. iOS and iPadOS 15 have brought many new changes to our iPhones and iPads. The new Contacts widget is one of the most useful. Learning how to make a widget on your home screen is easy and adding your favorite contacts takes widgets to a whole new level of usefulness. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.